Aloha, my friend. This is Billy Wiggly coming at you live from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. How are you doing today? Are you staying positive? Focusing on the positives? That's the only way to be, and I'm positive you're going to enjoy learning some Excel. Learning about how to apply the three icon set, but only use two icons. Sometimes when you use a three icon set, our results can look a little bit cluttered. In this case, I just want to use the red triangle and the green triangle. So showing increase or decrease. And I'm going to control it right here. So let's say I want to see all of the changes that increased by, let's say, 20%. And there we have them. And I want to see all the decreases that were more than uh, 50%. And there we have it. Increase more than 60%. Do we have any? One. All right. And how many decreased by more than 40%? We actually have quite a few. So let's go right ahead and learn how to apply the three icon set conditional formatting using only two icons check it out woohoo all right here we are take a look at this spreadsheet and what we have here is we have our yearly total for one year and then compare that against the previous year's totals. And we're going to apply conditional formatting in this column to indicate the change, whether it was positive or negative. And we're gonna control it right here. We wanna see the increases by X percentage or the decreases by X percentage. And it's controlled right there. So the way that we do this, the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my entire range of data where I have conditional formatting and I'm gonna clear the conditional formatting out of there so we can start fresh. So I selected a range of data, control, shift, arrow down. That's a shortcut for selecting a range of data all the way down to your last empty cell, just like that. All of our formatting options take place in the Home tab. So we go here in the Home tab and we go to our Styles group, conditional formatting. And here we see that we can clear rules from the entire sheet or just from selected cells. That's what we're gonna do, clear, just from the selected cells. Now, let's see how we did this. So the way that I did this is first, I wanted to see the percentage change. And I had to put a formula right into this cell that gave me the percentage change. Now that I have that formula in there, I double clicked on the auto fill handle, click, click, whoops, click, click, on the autofill handle, click, click, and it copied my formula all the way down. Let me show you that again from scratch. Double click on the autofill handle, click, click, copy the formula all the way down. Now I've got my percentage change. Now I wanna go ahead and select that range of data and apply conditional formatting. So control shift arrow down, whoop, just to select that range of data. Back up to my home tab where all my formatting options are. Go to my styles group and go to my conditional formatting. And here we have preset conditional formatting for you. you. I invite you to go ahead and go into your presets and check them out. A lot of times this is really all you need. Here I'm going to my icon sets. I see all the different icon sets. And we can see a little preview. Let me go right ahead and scoot this over a little bit so that you can see how cool this looks. So there we have seeing how the pre live previews are what these are called. And here you see, for example, the three icon set that I wanna use, except I only wanna use two icons. Sometimes when you have too many different icons, it kinda looks a little bit cluttered. I only want to see just these two icons, that's it. So I don't wanna display this. I don't want anything in between. So let's go right ahead and go back up to our conditional formatting, clear the rules from selected cells, Oh, and also another thing, I'm going to make it so that these numbers are not being displayed. Only the icon set, that's the only thing that's gonna be displayed. So let's go 
conditional formatting, clear rules from the selected cells. And now we've selected that range. We want to apply the conditional formatting and we want it to be controlled by these cells in particular. And so let's click on conditional formatting. And in this case, instead of picking a preset, we're going to create a new rule. So we create a new rule and in our new rules, we're going to format cells based on their values. All right, so check it out. And the format style that we're picking is going to be icon sets. Now we have the option of selecting what icon style we like. You always want to pay attention to see everything that's going on around you. Pay attention to everything and don't be scared, right? Just click, click, click. We don't have fear here. Now, let's go right ahead and say, let's see, I want to go with this icon set. All right. So when the value is for the first one greater than or equal to, and in this case, I want to use a number and I want to use the number that is in this cell right here to show me the increase. There I have it. Now, I want to not see this icon. So I'm saying for the mid range, no icon. I only want the green and the red. And then now when the formula is less than whatever's in this cell, I'm going to select click. That's the cell reference right there. And the type is a number. And then I'm going to press OK, click. And then there we have it. However, you may be thinking to yourself, well, Billy, wait, 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 wait. What about those numbers? Don't you want those numbers gone? Yeah. So let's go back. Remember, I still have my selection made right here. Notice it's still selected. So I'll go to conditional formatting. This time we're going to manage our rules because we already are going to, we're going to edit an existing rule. So manage the rules. Here we see the rule because we highlighted it. Now, if we hadn't highlighted it, you could just click on this drop down and then find the conditional formatting rules that are in a specific uh, location here but we've got a selection so it's only showing us the rules that are in that selection so I can just double click on it or I can press edit rule and in here there's one little part that we missed right here show icon only all right so now let me click on that I'm gonna press OK and now the moment that I apply, press apply, you're going to see the numbers disappear. Click just like that. Now we press OK. And now we can control. So I want to see which, which companies uh, increase their sales by 20% compared to last year. There's a few. Which ones decrease their sales by more than 60%? Wow, there's actually a few. What about decrease more than just 10%? Whoa. They've all decreased a lot. Not looking too good, but it is looking good for us that we made that conditional formatting two icons instead of three. There you have it, my friend. Remember, no fear. Keep on learning. Remember that I love you. And most of all, don't get mad. Get yourself some skills. Aloha.